Hello guys, this is the Duda2 and I'm going to do a, uh, another Go Basics video. Um, I got quite a few requests on nets um, and netting in the game. So um, what I did was I got five examples of netting. Um, I got three uh, simple examples and two a little bit more complicated examples. So I'm um, going to go over those with you guys, hopefully uh, answer some questions and give you some pretty decent examples of uh, netting in the game. A um, couple things to remember when you're um, performing a net. Um, for a net to be effective, um, you have to take into consideration the whole board position, okay? Because just because you net a stone doesn't mean you want to necessarily keep it. And I'll, I'll show you an example of that um, in the first uh, example up here. But uh, these are pretty basic um, because that's kind of what I'm working for. But these are shapes that you'll see quite often in your games, especially um, beginner games. So uh, these are things to keep an eye on. So let me zoom in here to, uh, to the board a little. And let's check out this very common very common example. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see here. This black stone is stuck in between this position of white stones. Okay, so there's a net available here. Okay, I'll use these different um, plastic stones so we can mark the difference. But that's the net. Okay, the black stone. What a net means is for uh, it to be a good net is it means is that black stone cannot escape. Okay, black tries to push out. Black tries to push out. Dead. Okay, totally surrounded, totally dead. Um, now, what I was talking about earlier is it really depends on the position of the board. For instance, let me straighten these up a little bit. White throws a net, right? Okay, well, black throws a peep here, right? Well, if white doesn't answer, black will play there and free itself, okay? So say black, white plays here. Now black will play a move like this, right? Um, maybe not the best example, but, you know, if, say, well, let's make it like this. Okay, uh, white nets, okay, black's going to peep, uh, white's going to answer, and now black can play here. And now uh, black has this wall, all because white was super insistent on making this one stone kill. Okay? Now I'm not going to talk about which would be a better response or whatever, but this is just an example to show that sometimes netting is not uh, the best way to go. Sometimes, depending on the board, uh, it's a good idea to throw a net. Sometimes it's a good idea to take a bigger point and maybe come back. But the, uh, now that that example's out of the way, We'll, we'll show it one more time. Whenever you have this position here, or something similar to this, and say black decides to cut, or, you know, he plays and you work your way out. Either way, if you want that stone, boom. Uh, that stone is uh, dead. Okay. So let's look at um, this ne next example right here. This is similar to the first example, right? We have, but instead of two stones and one stone, we have three stone and two stones. Okay? Uh, there's a net for killing these two stones. And that net is right there. Can black get out of there? No. No, he cannot. Black has a couple options to try. Right? Um, often, as, as I, I showed in the last example, often it's a good idea to get a free stone if you peep and white answers, you know, you figure those guys are dead anyway. Uh, you know, now depending upon the example, 
you know, you got a free stone. Perhaps if you had some black stones down here, that would be good. That would give you some type of influence. But perhaps not. Um, you know, those are strategies that are employed, you know, that are a little more advanced than the topic, but I wanted you guys to know that they're out there. Okay? But this is the net. Right here. So, uh, can black it out? No, we can't. Um, this way is obvious, right? If black pushes, white will block. Okay? If black decides to do some type of crazy cut, white will just play there. Okay? So keep it simple. Or just play down. Doesn't matter. But generally, if you play correctly, black cannot get out. Black plays here, white plays here, black plays here, white plays here, something like that. Okay? If, uh, you know, there's some tricky moves that black can try, you know, that may or may not be good, you know, some type of cut or something, but usually. connect or black can play here but then white plays here and that puts this stone in trouble so black has to pull out etc then white can put this stone in trouble as you can see you know and the black pulls out and then white can still always play here you know if you play it correctly uh, it's safe it's, it's a good strong net and a net by definition is strong so um, that's an example of another simple, another simple net. Um, we drop these stones off, and we'll go to our next example here. Okay, our next example is going to be this one down here in the corner. So let's see what we got here. Let's zoom in a bit. Here we have four stones in a line, three stones in a line and we have this pattern. It's not an empty triangle, it's full, right? But it is, uh, it's weak because it only has three liberties, okay? Black can throw a net here and capture these three stones. If you can take a guess as to which one, think about it, and let me uh, show you the net. Boom, net right there. Now, um, the reason this net works is because it's on the third line. And white can't just push through, okay? Uh, I don't believe this net will work so well. I mean, it could always work, but it may not work as well in the center because depending upon the board, white could be able to apply a lot more pressure and threaten cuts, etc. Possibly push in and then white a block and then white could possibly wrap around or something like this and try to capture these three stones. But nine times out of ten, this is a very strong net. You're, you won't be able to get out of it. Um, you know, the obvious would be, you know, white tries to push out here. Black wraps around. White now has two liberties. Right? Uh, if, if, if white cuts, no big deal. You know, I mean, there's a lot of variations. You guys could kind of work these out on your own. Uh, this would be the, the most dangerous way, right, for white. And then... If white threatens to come around, black will simply play here, which means one more hit done. So white will probably try something like that, which case black will play down here. You know, uh, there's there's a lot of variations, but basically, I mean, no matter where, if white plays here, black plays here, and it's down to one liberty. If white plays here, black plays here, and white plays here, black plays here, it's down to one liberty. Either way, white's white's fighting a losing battle here. Okay, so. Um, to go over the net one more time, you guys could feel free to pause it, set it up on your board, and try to break out of it. But uh, it's a good strong net. Here's the way, right there. If you ever see this type of shape, and you have a stone on the outside, you know, uh, I'm sorry, this would be the way for white to escape, right? You break the net, you're pretty good then. But uh, the actual net itself is right there, okay? So let's, uh, let's go to a little bit of a more complicated example. There are two more complicated examples, and this one um, is one of them. So looking at this, where do you think uh, 
Where do you think the net is? Let me. I'm sorry. Let me get rid of this. I ruined it for you. <clears throat> here's your here's your situation. White's here. White has one, two, three, four liberties, right? It seems that at any time White could play here and be safe. Could uh, potentially play here and be pretty safe. Uh, this is not so good, but this this is a safe move, right? This is a good way for white to get out. So if you think of the shape and you think where would white play to get out, that is usually your net. If white could play there to escape, and guess what? That's where black plays. Uh, black plays where you you know there's a proverb that states your opponent's strong point is your strong point. Basically, what it means is you're taking away their strong position. So it works out good for you, usually. Not always, but usually. Um, can white escape here? No. No, white, white's trapped. Um, he pushes out, you got a wall. 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 He jumps, you cut. He pushes out, you block. Uh, these liberties are uh, just really weak right now for white. So if anything, take from the position. If you're looking for a net and you're not sure, Put yourself in the opponent's position, and then look around and try to see where White could escape. And as far as I could tell, this is White's best escape route. It's possible that, you know, see I don't even think this would work, because then Black would cut, White would play here. Yeah, this would probably get him out too. Um, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, either way, it's going to be better for Black. But this is his... Uh, you know, best shape escape. Uh, if, if you wanted to play it out, you know, black would try to cut, white would play here, threatening to take the black stone, black would play here, and now white is out, and now this black stone's in a bit of a tussle, a bit of a trouble, okay? But uh, without getting too complicated, the proper net uh, is right here. It's called a knight's net. Because what you're doing is you're doing a knight's jump from two different uh, stones, so it's a good, uh, it's a good strong jump, right? And, and technically, uh, this is an extra large knight's move from this stone too. So if you want to um, look at it like that, and then we'll get to our the most complicated net that I uh, thought would be appropriate for you guys. Uh, let's see here, right here. Let me try to zoom in a little bit so we can, you know, that's probably as good as it's going to get. Okay, here we have a bit of a situation. We have black threatening to cut off these white stones, right? And we have this black stone here, uh, which is all by itself. So we don't want this black stone to do a move here, right? Then it can do all kinds of damage and split these stones up. Because we want our stones together, as white, we want to kill this black stone. But we see there's a bit of an issue, right? If, uh, you know, if black plays something, if white plays something like hit, like this, like this empty triangle move, black can escape. If white plays here, black can run down, right? Just keep running and running and running. So, and we don't want to catch them in a ladder because we don't know what's, uh, you know, what's what's over here. A ladder may or may not work. So we have to think. Uh, you know, what I was talking about with the running is if white plays here, right, black is going to run. If white continues to push, black's going to continue to run, and eventually black's out, and he could wrap around and attack this group. Definitely not good. So think about it for a second. Uh, where do you think is a good night, or a, I'm sorry, a good uh, move to trap white? Okay, the reason it's a little more complicated is because there are a, there's a little bit of a setup. Okay, so here's the first move. The reason we play this is because if we play anywhere else, these stones are in trouble. Okay, you know, black plays here. Now these stones are going to get uh, trapped. They're in trouble. So white plays here to, to protect the stones. Okay, 
If black cuts, he's dead. So what's black going to do? Black's going to play down. And now, now we have our net. We set him up perfectly for a nice net trap right there. He plays there, done. He plays there, done. He cuts. You protect, right? Cuts again, you protect, done. And then he has a, a weak black stone or two in there that you don't have to worry about. So let's look at this one more time. We kind of set him up for the net with this one, right? White's going to play here. Black's going to be pushed down. And now white is going to throw the net right there. Um, the net basics, right? These are really good examples to practice with because the more you see these shapes, the more your um, the more likely you are to uh, get the uh, you know, let's spin this around here. The more likely you see these shapes, the more likely you play the games, the more likely you'll see them. So uh, a good idea is to set these patterns up and just spend 10, 15, 20 minutes on each pattern and try to break out of the net. And by realizing why you can't break out, it'll start clicking in your head, huh, well, now maybe I should try these techniques on somebody else because I know they can't get out because I've tried all kinds of ways, okay? Now remember, nets are very position-oriented, which means um, whether a net well, a net will work, okay, but whether it's better for to, to take a net or to take a ladder or to take a big point, those are all reading um, skills that you'll have to kind of develop, you know, through your experience and through, you know, your teachers and uh, that type of deal. But um, nets are very useful, especially if you're in a type of capturing race. You know, if you see a net position and you just go, bam, net, then you don't have to worry about that group for a while. The only time you have to worry about the group is when, um, you know, your opponent starts pressuring around or peeping, uh, like I showed you earlier. Then you need to decide, hmm, do I let him escape? Is it more beneficial for me to just kill it? Uh, you know, those type of questions are on a game-to-game -game basis. But netting is, uh, is a basic skill that uh, could be very complicated. I've seen some very complicated, very complicated examples of netting uh, five, ten moves ahead. So uh, it's a skill that can be developed, you know, to where you could really find some net. There's some tsujis, some uh, ch clever moves that involve nets. Um, those are all worthy of study, but to keep it basic uh, for my video and uh, my beginner viewers, um, these five examples are just really good uh, net examples. Uh, I've spent a lot of time just today messing with these, and uh, I feel like I got a lot of benefit from them, and I'm sure you guys will too. Even if you've seen them before, uh, if you've never tried to escape a net, try really creative ways to get out. Um, it, it's a very good drill. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them. I uh, appreciate all the feedback you guys give, good and bad. Um, hopefully, mostly good. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I put a video out, a video out every week. Um, I've been working from this list uh, that you guys gave me from New Year's. And netting is number one on my list. So I'm going to uh, mark this off and uh, move on to the next. I got a couple uh, book reviews, a couple more product reviews. I still got to get uh, over to my buddy's house and do a review on his Crazy Stone uh, program and then we'll compare the different computer gaming programs and uh, if you have any other comments or suggestions feel free uh, I got enough suggestions for a couple months but if you throw something that I really like I'll skip it ahead of the game and if you got something urgent let me know and I'll try to get it there too you guys have a good day appreciate everything and uh, see you next video